Hello and welcome to The Future is 3D. My name is Jeff Christiana and today we're going to talk about ramps version 1.4. Now this ramps board is probably the last of its release. The uh, newest electronics would be the Megatronics that uh, I will have a video of shortly. All our new printers ship with the Megatronics board. Really the biggest difference is between the ramps and the Megatronics is that the Megatronics is one single board. You're not double stacked. You're going to have more options. You're going to have a, a six stepper controller. You're going to have two thermocouples as well as the three thermistor hookups. You're going to have um, two extruders. You're going to have two fans and you're going to have the heated build platform. You can also convert that one of those fans into a third extruder or fourth extruder. Um, all of it's configurable within the uh, firmware, the Marlin firmware. So on the ramps, what we're going to look at here is, right now you can see it's LED flashing. That is saying that D10 here that goes to the tip on your print head is, is heating up. And PID is enabled, so that's why it's flickering. It's not a solid constant. It, it constantly regulates, calculates, um, so you don't shoot past your temperature value. Um, helps keep you at a constant temperature of the entire print job. Down below here, you'll see a light, a red light on. That is for your heated build platform. That stays at a constant. So D8 is what goes to your relay that toggles direct voltage from your power supply to your heated build platform. So I take the amperage and bypass going through the uh, ramps board. The diode here is for the relay. So down here you've got power. This is power for your heated build platform. And this is power for your, your other motors and other devices on your ramps board. These are just jumper together. Power comes in to the bottom, I jumper up to the top. The blue wires here go to the fan on your print head. Now these are your stepper drivers. You've got one, two, three, four, and there's a spot for a fifth that runs your extruder. This is X, Y, Z, extruder zero, extruder two. This is your end stops, end stop minimum, X, Y, Z. This is X minimum, there's a spot right next to it for max. So you could have X minimum, X max, Y minimum, Y max, Z minimum, Z max. We only use the minimum on our machines. You can, however, wire up max if you so choose. On the right here, this is for the LCD. This runs to the LCD, this two pin, and you've got a four pin that runs to the LCD. And then right next to your minimum end stop where it's snaking uh, five volts, then that powers your LCD controller. So this has got a dedicated spot on the new Megatronics. So it'll be different for that video. This is your SD card adapter. There are four pins hanging off the right hand side. You only use eight pins, four, five, six, seven, eight. The other four hang off the side, they're not used. This SD card just pops in, pops out. The machine is active right now, so I will not be doing that. This ribbon cable um, plugs right in here, 10 pin, and that runs to your keypad controller. This also will have a dedicated location on the new Megatronics. It'll say keypad. Right now we're using auxiliary two. There is other auxiliaries on here that are not in use. There's there's all kinds of places to hook up header connectors to do additional. Um, so this is your reset button. Your uh, reset button, when pressed, will reset the ramps and flush out any bad things. If you do get artifacts on your LED display from static electricity or you know, if you've touched it with some of the contacts, you can hit that button, it'll reset it. It'll also reset your print job if you're in the middle of one. So, so 
So that is the Ramps Electronics. There's also a diode that is under the X and the Y that allows you to be powered via 20 or 12 volts versus the USB. So if we have our power turned on, we can unplug the USB and we're able to run the printer directly from the SD card without any, without being linked to your computer. And I, I highly recommend copying your <coughs> your SD, your, your, your G code to your SD card and then printing using the LCD display. So that's the RAMPS 1.4 and we'll see you in the next video.